After Steve Bannon accuses Don Jr. of treason, President Trump delivers nuclear response by Dan Lindsay, Politics U.S. News for MadWorldNews.com. Former White House advisor Steve Bannon has accused Donald Trump Jr. and Jared Kushner of, quote, treason. Now, President Donald Trump is delivering a nuclear response that is sending a shockwave throughout the political landscape. According to the Daily Caller, Trump's former chief strategist and, and the chairman of Breitbart News, Steve Bannon, made comments about Donald Trump Jr. and Jared Kushner to author Michael Wolff, who included them in his new book about the new administration. Even if you thought that this was not treasonous or unpatriotic or bad crap, and I happen to think it's all of that, you should have called the FBI immediately, Bannon was quoted as saying. Now Bannon is facing a nuclear reaction from the president in a response that was released to reporters by White House Press Secretary Sarah Sanders prior to the White House briefing. Trump did not hold back in his burning rebuke of Bannon and characterized him as a man serving only as his self-interest. This explosive divide between Trump and his former chief strategist is sure to send a shockwave throughout the conservative world where both Trump and Bannon have a tremendous following. According to the Gateway Pundit, Trump also took aim at Bannon's recent failed attempt to get candidate Roy Moore elected in the Alabama Senate race where a vacant Senate seat was left available by Attorney General Jeff Sessions. The following is Trump in Trump's statements about uh, Bannon as released by Press Secretary Sarah Sanders. Steve Bannon has nothing to do with me or my presidency. When he was fired, he not only lost his job, he lost his mind. Steve was a staffer who worked with me after I had already won the nomination by defeating 17 candidates often described as the most talented field ever assembled in the Republican Party. Now that he is on his own, Steve is learning that winning isn't as easy as I make it look. Steve had very little to do with our historic victory, which was delivered by the forgotten men and women of this country. Yet Steve had everything to do with the loss of a Senate seat in Alabama held for more than 30 years by Republicans. Steve doesn't represent my base. He's only in it for himself. Steve pretends to be at war with the media, which he called the opposition party, yet he spent his time at the White House leaking false information to the media to make himself seem far more important than he was. It is the only thing he does well. Steve was rarely in a one-on-one -on -one meeting with me and only pretends to have had influence to fool a few people with no access and no clue whom he helped write phony books. We have many great Republican members of Congress and candidates who are very supportive of the Make America Great Again agenda. Like me, they love the United States of America and are helping to finally take our country back and build it up rather than simply seeking to burn it all down, source the Daily Caller. Steve Bannon's incendiary comments about Trump Jr. and the Russians are only going to fuel the Democrats and their pet, Robert Mueller, who is conducting the fraudulent investigation into accusations of collusion between Trump and the Russians. In my opinion, Steve Bannon didn't get, uh, help any great cause by making the comments about Trump Jr. and Kushner. As a former chief strategist for President Donald Trump, he should have taken the trust vested in him by the American people and acted more shrewdly. What was uh, he hoping? What was he hoping to accomplish by speaking with the author about the inner workings of Trump's White House? That seems like a betrayal to me. If Trump Jr. and Kushner broke any laws, they should be given due process and brought to justice, just like anyone else should be. But for Bannon to grandstand with sensitive information on Trump's team is just downright disgraceful. At a time when millions of American patriots are looking for their team to work together, this news comes as a tremendous disappointment. If this is true, I'm very disappointed in Steve Bannon. That's for sure. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.